Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about a layout edited template, and this is one of the template type in Oracle Fusion ERP. So let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand what is this layout, like um, this particular template, and when to use this particular layout template, and what are the prerequisite recommendations and recommendations, and the steps involved in designing this particular template, and the reference. So let us understand what is this all about. So we have a different type of template option which are available in Oracle Fusion ERP. Like we have RTF template, Excel template, PDF template, Flash template, eText template, couple of things. And this particular publisher layout editor is one of the very special kind wherein you can design the, you can like drag and drop the columns and you can understand like how it looks like in the output. And it also provides an interactive dynamic HTML output. This is the only report template which which has that particular functionality and you it supports interactivity to the output also at the execution level you can just like a user can interact with the report and get the output and when do you generally prefer this particular publisher layout so this is one of the very simple layout design this is only suited for designing a very simple kind of reports if you want to have a dynamic logic involved this will not suit this is this is one of very simple layout report wherein you can simply have a single table or a single table chart and drag and drop that's it if you want to apply dynamic logic and if you want to have a multi child or multi level reports and if you want to have a very picture perfect a different kind of like a, a if your layout is very complex this will not suit out okay this one this is generally preferred for the simple layouts and one interesting thing is you don't require any additional plugin to be installed in your system it just works out within the browser itself and we'll see how it looks like and you require a data model as you know every report requires a data model before you design the report and you need to set your display resolution appropriately and it can also handle it's not like it is even though it is used for only simple layout design but it can handle the data very efficiently and it is generally to say frankly like it, it is more it has more performance than any other reports but the thing is it is only for simple reports okay coming next slide and now what are the steps involved the same steps similar steps i can say but designing a layout is totally different initial way of designing a data model if you are choosing a sql query first of all you require a query and then create a data model and one interesting one important thing is you have to save the sample data then click on create report and then it will go to next slide and here if at all if you have selected the data model already and if you click on create report your data model will be selected here and if it is not selected here make sure that you select you just click on this particular icon and get the data model selected and then select guide me option select guide me option once you click on once you select guide me option and click on next it will ask you what kind of layout you want to have in the output so here if you observe it shows six kind six types of layouts and also in the page option it provides a portrait landscape and it also provides whether you want to have a page header and footer and now next thing is like as here i have not selected any chart option that's the reason like the the third and fourth options are not selected and it went to create table automatically once in the create table it shows the data data like uh, the data source and the data model information and you can select you can just simply drag and drop the columns which you want on the output and you can click on finish and you can see the output okay now this is the output and now one other thing is like uh, how many how many output formats it supports it supports interactive html pdf rtf excel sx as well as powerpoint and this is a reference document you can refer to this oracle documentation now let us design the report practically okay let's get into the data model so this is our data model this query is getting used for the purpose of generating the employee data now what we do the first thing is i'll close this one and now once you log into Fusion, click on Tools and then click on Report and Analytics. And then click on Browse Catalog. It will navigate to another window and you can see that URL will be Fusion ERP URL slash Analytics. Now I'll select Aura trainings folder and it's not that you need to have a folder but even if you don't have the folder by default you can create your reports in the my folder or in the respective environment you can create a if you require a folder to be created create a folder and then you start 
creation. But when you are navigating this kind of fashion, you cannot, you don't see an option to create a folder. So if you want to create a folder, what you have to do is copy the instance URL and type XMLP server. And here, click on catalog. And here in this plus symbol, you can see an option called create a folder, okay? So now uh, assume that your folder is available already. And now next thing is I'll create a data model. So create data model. And I'll select this particular query. EMP details, DM. on OK, save, click on data, view, you can check in the table fashion also and then very important thing, save as sample data. We does not need to download the XML data, simply click on save as sample data and again click on save option better. Next option, next thing is as of now, this step what we have done, we have created the data model. Next step is we have to create the report. I think about how you want the layout look like. Click on create report. It will navigate to another window. Now it is like a, the data model goes selected and it is asking the, how do you want to create a report? We want to go with a guided option. Click on next. Now select what kind of output format you want to have it. I'll go with table as of now and uh, page optionals, I'll go with portrait and header footer, I don't want to have anything. So I'll simply click on next. So it will navigate to the create table option automatically. And it will select the set of fields which are already available in the data model. And I don't require any ground, like I don't want to show any total rows. And as of now, I just want to show person number, simply drag and drop. And then like uh, if you want to display first name, last name, person type, and finally, I want to display person ID also. That's it. And like, of course, there are some sort of formatting settings you can do, and you can do that later. As of now, I'll just simply click on next. And it is asking whether do you still want to customize? No, I don't want to do any customization. Simply click on finish. And now, save the report. EMP details REP. Okay, so the report got saved and by default format here, if you observe it is PDF, that's the reason it is displaying like this. Let us say you can change that, right? What you can do you can click on edit report and you can click on view as a list and change the default output format. I'll go with interactive, click on save and now you can see the list of supported output formats also here. Of course, like interactive HTML, PDF, RTF, docx lot number of things are there right xml csv also so i'll go with interactive html format click on view report okay this interactive report. Now let us say if you at all, if you if you don't want this person ID to be like uh, available, right? What you can do? You can just simply click on Edit Layout, and here if you observe, right, this in the interaction one, right, you can have a sorting, and let us say if you want to have a filtering, right, let us say I want to display only set of records, I can do this interaction. Let's say I want only these two records. Click on OK. Right? So this is the interaction which is available only in this particular a template which is designed using layout editor. Using the other kind of layouts like we are using RTF layout or e-text layout or a PDF or Excel report, you don't have this interaction. And if at all, if you want to edit the report, right? If you want to edit the layout, what you do, just click on edit layout. And it will navigate to the layout editor and where it provides an option again, like uh, you can drag and drop, you can remove it, you can change it and then save it and again run it. Now, 
you can change them you can change the column name you can change the set of properties you can apply all those things okay once you have done simply click on done it will navigate back to the report and you can just run it again that's it so this is all about a simple way of designing a report using the layout editor and the file extension of this one final thing i want to tell you is like let's see i'll go with edit report option now click on via the list and you can see that this particular file type is xpt okay and even download it but generally you can't open that it's a binary file you can't open you don't have any editor to open it from the desktop as we have don't have any tool to open this one if it is rtf we can open via ms word if it is a xls we can open via excel sheet but this rp xpt cannot open in the local system okay so this is all about designing a report using layout it thank you